When you receive these wafers, they're doped at different concentrations. So some of them are lightly doped, and they'll have a high resistance when you check them with a, a ohm meter. And some of them will be highly doped, so they'll have a low resistance. And it's important to know the resistance of your wafers. And you do this with a four-point probe. And the way a four-point probe works is you have four probes that are evenly spaced together and press against the wafer. You have a current source that is applying a current that's flowing through the wafer. And then you have a voltmeter across the two interior probes that are measuring a voltage. And if you space your, your probes 25 mils apart, this is the equation that you would use. So the sheet resistance of your wafer will be 4.53 with V over I voltage over the current. Now if your probes are spaced differently, then this constant changes and there's a lot of resources online that you can go and uh, check how to adjust this. An interesting fact about wafers are is, is that they have ohms per square. So when you start building features on your wafer, if you build features that are, are uh, square shape, they'll always have the same ohms of resistance no matter if they're a small feature size. So let's just say this is one by one on a side. So if you double that, go two by two on a side, it's the same resistance across the, the wafers. So that's an interesting fact about wafer pieces.